life is meant to be lived. And on this show, I'm going to tell you crazy stories of my life. I'm your boy, Mush King. You already know, I got a story to tell. Hey, what it is, friends. It's your favorite storyteller, Mush King, and you're now tuned into an all-new episode of A Story to Tell right here on the Conversation with Friends Network, where we bring you the big content and the small pieces. What's good? I'm the four-letter guy, the eight-letters better, Mush King, and I'm glad you joined with me this week on the show where I just like to tell the crazy stories of my life, the crazy stories of the internet, and just all around the crazy stuff and what I'm listening to and what I'm watching. Like, that's just what this show is, so you can catch that each and every week right here on the network, like I said. And um, welcome, welcome, welcome if you're a first-time listener. If not, thank you again for coming back because, uh, you know, I've been rocking out and doing this for a very, very, very long time. So my apologies for the late show this week, but I promise you that I was going to get it to you this week because, you know, your boy is trying to stay on schedule, but I had to come a little late. Listen, I tried to record this on Wednesday, fire alarm going off in the building, somebody trying to burn the building down. Then uh, yesterday I'm trying to record, I don't know what, if somebody moved out upstairs, but they're like buffing the floor upstairs and that shit would not have sounded good in the recording. But, you know, you got to make it work when you can, like, you know, you do. And that's the way that I'm doing. So thank you again, like I said, for listening and tuning in because yeah i was gonna come to y'all this week i promise y'all so i'm back i am back but this week you know we just getting into the things like i said the things that i'm listening to what i added to my playlist recently i'm gonna get into that also 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 what i've been watching lately i've been caught up in a marathon of a show and i'm gonna get into that later in what you watching and we'll get to that but right now i want to give you a little story the other day so if you tuned in last week then you know You know, you know, you know that I said I've been out in the streets doing random things. So I have a little story that I want to share of something that happened to me real quick recently when I was out and about. So boom, right? I go out. Well, I woke up one day, like I went to sleep early, woke up kind of like one o'clock. So I was like, you know what? I feel like doing something. So I got up and went out. Now I went by myself. Sometimes I like to go out by myself. You know, if you listen to this show, then you know that some of my best stories come from when I'm out by myself. So I go out, go to a little bar and I I wasn't trying to do nothing crazy. So I go to the bar and I'm drinking. I get like two beers and then I leave. I dip out because I think the place was closing soon. I I think I was the very last person that they served a drink to. I had got there so late. So anyways, like I'm leaving that spot and I knew about a house party that was going on. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll go to the house party now because I knew that that wasn't over till like four. So I'm like, all right, so I'm walking down the street to my car and you know me, I'm always mindful of my surroundings because listen, in New York City, you always have to be mindful. Don't be doing all that texting and and, and walking and your headphones on loud. You always got to pay attention. So moving here to Atlanta, like it's kind of the same thing. So, you know, I'm always checking out the scene or whatever. So I look around and and now I'm on like a dark residential block. So I'm walking to the car. I'm like the only car parked on the block. So I'm looking around. I don't see nobody. So I get in the car and like, you know, my new thing is I get in the car, I lock the car because, you know, they're crazy in Atlanta. So, you know, I make sure the doors are locked. Um, And then next thing you know, I hear a tap, tap, tap on the glass. And that shit startled me because I was texting. I had my head down. And I'm looking like, yo, where the fuck did this guy come from? So he's yelling something through the window. I'm like, bro, I don't got it. Like, I just automatically thought he was asking me for money. He was like, yo, he's yelling something. I'm like, bro, I don't got it. He was like, no, listen. Like, I'm trying to, so I was like, yo, step back, because he was mad close to my passenger side window. Step back from the car. I said, so I rolled down the window, like, a little bit so I could hear him. I said, what are you saying now? He was like, yo, I'm sorry. He was like, I was out drinking with my friends. I parked my car at my friend's house, and I don't know how to get there. I have to walk there. My phone died. So I'm just trying to see the address on the map so I can figure out which way to walk. So, you know, we're talking, he was like, you know, I'm not from here, I'm from New York. So that's where I connected. I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, okay, listen, I'm from there too. That's why I told you to back the fuck up from my car because I didn't know who you were. So he was like, okay, he was like, I'm going to walk around to the driver's side. So he walks around driver's side with his hands up. And so he comes and he he was like, okay. So I was like, what's the address? He tells me the address. I put it in the GPS. Now, folks, this thing was like 0.7 miles away. Like, it was close. And the GPS said it was like a seven, five, seven-minute drive or whatever. So I'm talking to him, and I was like, okay, you know what? Let me be a good Samaritan. I'm going to order you an Uber. So, like, you know, we're sitting there talking, and I'm ordering the Uber. And then I get on the Uber app. Yo, the Uber was charging $27 to go five minutes. And so I'm just like, so I told the, the guy, I was like, oh, 
I promise you I'll cash app it back to you. But like 20, you know, if it was $5, $7, I would have did it. But for $25 and now you're a stranger and I, you know, I requested that don't mean you got to pay it on cash app. So it's just like, I looked at it and then I looked at him and he was this young kid and not that I, he was drunk. He was drunk. He was drunk. So I was just like, even if he tried something, I'm gonna take it. So I said to him, cause he was, I was like, yo, how old are you? He was just, oh, I'm 23, da, 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 da. So I was like, you know what? You can get in my car. <laughs> I was like, I'll take you. Folks, I know, I know, hella dangerous, but like, I remember me back in them situations when people helped me out and gave me rides, random strangers that I fucking was like, oh my God, thank you so much. So I ended up, long story short, I ended up giving him a ride back to the complex. Like I said, it was only seven minutes away. Like he thanked me. And like, I texted him like since then, like we've been cool. Cause he said he want to go out with me. So, cause he uh, apparently I could get the girls. Ha, huh, funny. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, like that was just a that was just a wild story, but you know, it just makes you realize like sometimes like you got to be the nice person out here like in this time that we live in. Like all this crazy evil shit is happening. Like I just try to stay the nice guy, but let me tell y'all something. Like for all my nice guys out there, you got to have a little backbone. You got to have a little backbone because let me tell you something, the nice guy will always turn into the mean guy at some point. Because you get tired of being played, like, you will get played as a nice guy, like, you try to do nice things, you try to, you know, help people out when they're down on your luck, and they're all there for you when they're down, but then once they get back up, they forget how you help them, or, you know, they turn it and see the same situation, because I always say this, two people can be in the same situation and have two different outcomes on that situation, like, it happens all the time, so, you know, Nice guys, y'all be careful out here because people will take advantage of you, especially when they see you have like, you know, little pockets of insecurities that, you know, they can harp on. They will go ahead and take advantage of that. So just be mindful of that. But before we slide on into the purple bag, y'all, your boy has been consistent in the gym. I'm back. I'm back in the gym. When I moved to Atlanta, like I was definitely not really motivated to go. The new gym, like LA Fitness, is what what we go to now. Like this is now the third gym that I'm going to. It's probably the worst one out the three. I kind of hate this gym. Like Gold's gym that was in North Carolina when we stayed there for those two years. Like that gym was clutch. That was a clutch gym. It had everything that I needed. Like this gym now is just and it's so cruisy. Everybody's trying to look at you and gawk at you, and it's just like, bro, I'm just trying to work out. I'm just trying to work out. But every day, five six a.m., I've been getting up, taking my black ass to the gym. So. Let me tell you, so I have a trip coming up. Our annual friend trip is coming up. So I got to get this body ready, um, you know, so I can be, uh, you know, dressed in the least amount of clothes for these contests that we have coming up. So um, more about that once that gets closer to September. But I'm really excited about that, that trip. Eighth annual trip of doing something with people where it's been no drama, none of that. So looking forward to get into that. But let me not hold y'all too long. Let's walk on over to the PLB and and um I'ma update y'all on what I'm listening to. <laughs> Let's get into oh it. Oh my gosh. The music just turns me on. All right, so purple little bag. We're in the purple little bag. So as you guys know. Um, this is the section where I like to update you on what I'm listening to, what I am adding to my playlist, Mush King Life and Times on Spotify. If you're not listening, then what the hell are you doing? Um, but I just want to update you on some of the songs that I've recently uh, been listening to. So I have like a couple, two new joints from Xavier Omar and India, India Sean. Like those are two new ones that I heard today when I was just trying to sample music that I, um, the India Sean song, Don't Play With My Heart, it's kind of housey. And, you know, that's that's always been my vibe, so I'm always going to add that. But um, the other day, I'm, like, listening. I was looking at a song, and then you know how you play a song, and then it plays something similar afterwards. So I it just went into this whole playlist of songs over time that I haven't heard in years. And so one of the songs was from Dave Hollister. Now, Dave Hollister's Take Care Home is probably one of my favorite joints, like, one of my favorite R&B joints. I love that song, but... Dave Hollister's One Woman Man, <laughs> like, I forgot how much that song made me feel good. Like, it's such a good beat, such a good R&B song of that time, like, of that time. But also, I added um, Melanie Fiona, who isn't really doing a lot these days, but that used to be, for R&B, Melanie Fiona used to be it from Canada. Yeah, so Melanie Fiona and T-Pain, 6 a.m. It's 6 in the morning. Yeah, that was, um... 
I think, and I think that was like the comeback to T-Pain's 5 a.m. I think T-Pain had a song called 5 a.m. But also, um, Maxwell's Pretty Rings, I added that to this playlist. Probably one of, like, music-wise, that's probably one of the prettiest songs ever. Like, that's that's such a dope song. Like, I like the strings. Mind you, that song is fucking 5 minutes and 11 seconds. Like, y'all remember when songs used to be that long? It's so crazy because when I was adding these songs, like, from the past, like, the Melanie Fiona, the Maxwell, I added Drew Hill, The Love We Had. Yo. <laughs> Stellar R&B song. It still lives up to this name this day. It's like, so, Cisco, y'all can. And also, Escapes, Do You Want To, like, another classic of mine. So, I was just really adding classics this week because a lot of stuff that um, came out, Recently, I wasn't really feeling, including Megan Thee Stallion is out with a new song with Future. It just came out today, apparently. I mean, it sounds just like the rest of the songs. Like, yo, let me tell you something. Living in Atlanta, I really, like, really, 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 really makes me appreciate, like, growing up in the East Coast. Like, the thing is, like, it's nothing against um, people from the South and everything that they have. But it's like, when you lived in the East, you just know, like, you just know music from that, that place, that space that time whatever and so it's just like with me being from up north and then now being in the south like I listen to this music and I just feel like I'm just being drugged like it's just chanting like all the time is they will play that the whole night and I'm just like yo can I get a little like a, you know an R&B song like a dance song a house song a club song like something else besides the southern chant like sometimes I just in, in future Megan does it and also can we be honest, y'all? Can Megan Thee Stallion just do one non hoey song? Like, I listen, I'm I'm here for the content. Like, I like the songs that she puts out. I'm a hoe is life, hoe is life. But I would love to see a little bit of variety of something else from her that doesn't include that. But you know, but maybe that's what you, that's the image you create, and you know, you got to stick to that. Like, I know that's what a lot of artists feel like, but. I put a topic on this list of me missing the time when artists were the whole entire package. Like, man, and I think because it's social media. Like, do you think that social media took away the essence of the celebrity? Because I remember looking in magazines and being like, whoa, like, they look so rich. Like, when you see them do interviews, it was so polished and da-da-da. And then now you see, you know, the newcomers, they're up, they're doing interviews, they barely know how to speak, they barely know how to express their thoughts. Everything is a period and bop, 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 bop. Like, it's just like, I mean, I love the fact that people can be them. That's why it's like, you know, like, it's like a gift and a curse or, you know, something like that. Because it's just like, you have like these artists who want to be them, but then you have artists and you look at them and you're just like, how did you get there? Like, talking like that. How did you get there? Like, you know, you just look boring. Like... And so that really just boils down to some of these people are just getting put on one looks or they're dating someone who does something with music. Like, I feel like that's what a lot of it is, especially these artists that come and go. But yeah, those are the songs I'm listening to at PLB. So if you're on Spotify, go ahead and click the link. If you're not on Spotify, I mean, you can listen to for free. You may have commercials in the middle, but I mean, who wants to listen to Mush King Life and Times playlist with commercials in it? But let me see if they have an affiliate link for Spotify so I could go ahead and get paid for that. Mm, good idea, Mushy. Good idea. So go ahead. Check out that link for Mush King Life and Times on Spotify. Also, let me know where you're listening to this at because um, I want to know what you what you hearing. Like, what you hearing? So let me know that. Let's slide on in, into Boom. What you watching? Hey, yo, Mushy. What you watching? Get out. All right, so this week in What You Watching, let me tell you something. I've just been in a marathon mood lately. Like, y'all ever been in that? you just been watching something. You can't stop watching it. But Dateline, like, so, I, you know, I got on the Peacock app the other day, and, like, they had old episodes of Dateline. Now, if you know me, you know. Originally, my original me, before the RT stuff kicked in, I wanted to be a forensic detective. That was what I wanted to be. But then I realized you had to be a cop first and I didn't want to do that. So I, that dream stopped quickly. But I've always been fascinated at like crimes and like how like they catch criminals with fucking DNA and how DNA just drops everywhere. Like I've always been fascinated with that. So I've always been, always loved crime shows like Unsolved Mysteries. My dad used to watch that all the time. And you know, America's Most Wanted. Um, yeah, First 48. What's that, what's that one, that fake one where they send the people to jail? 
the first six months um whatever that one is but that that was my that was my joint too but anything with like crimes in it i love it so dateline has mad seasons of like mad episodes and i've just been been watching it up till two in the morning just eyes burning you know you can't go to sleep because you want to hear what the end of the story is and be like mm 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 it was the kid who killed the mom. And, and then that's how I get you every time. They And I love the way that Dateline spins it. Because you'd be like, oh, them poor kids lost their mom. And then by the end of the show, you'd be like, oh, man, them little ass people that killed their parents. Terrible. So let me know if y'all watch Dateline or if anything like that. Like, are you into crime stuff? Because, I'm listen, I'm trying to get a crime pod on the network. I'm going to get into that when we wrap this up. But, yes, that that's coming soon. But also everything's trash shout outs to that show it's a new show on freeform i think it is but i watched it via hulu and it's a new show about a black podcaster and her life and her brother's running for some um political job and you know her messy podcast is doing stuff so that show was really good and so the new episode just came out i think yesterday so I got to catch up on that. So if you're on Hulu, make sure you check out Everything's Trash. Come back and let me know exactly what you thought. Because I'm like, podcasting, come on, come along. It's been a long, it's come a long way since uh, my days of, you know, potting and things like that. But also, P-Valley. I'm so sad that P-Valley didn't come on this week like or last week. You know how you be sitting there waiting for that episode to drop and then next thing you know, boop, no episode. And you, especially when they left you on a cliffhanger. And I'm sorry to spoil it, but if y'all missed that last episode with Big Teak, bruh, I don't know what you're doing. That was stellar cinematography. Like, that show is shot excellent. Like, the symbolism in it. Like, you know, listen, you know, your boy got a degree in television production. And, uh, you know, these are the things that they actually taught you in school. So to actually see them play out in shows, like, especially black shows. Like, I love that black art. And yeah, so I was a little sad when, you know, there was no episode last week. So, but hopefully they're back this week and we get a little update as to see, you know, what the status of, you know, Lil Murder and his mental health would be. Because, bro, let me tell you something. I could never. I could never. Sorry, got to get out this car. But I won't spoil it for the rest of those people who didn't see it. But if you did see it, you know, drop Drop an emoji of how your face was when that scene happened. Like, that's, that's what I want you to do. Drop a little emoji and let me know how you felt at the end of that last episode of P-Valley. Because, bro, let me tell you something. Whew. Anyways, <laughs> that's about all that I'm watching right now. Let me know what you're watching. Are you watching the crime shows? Have you been caught? Are you caught up with P-Valley? Last week, I talked about The Shy, so... I think the shy is back also like are you are you uh you know you still feeling the storyline of what the shy and how they're gonna end the last season of the show like let me let me know what you what you watching and, and all that good stuff but right now we're gonna go to the wrap-up well boys and girls it has been just a great old time as you know like a story to tell is just a place where we just like to kick it like we we like to kick it i didn't have a lot of things going on this week but i did wanted to come tell you that story about the ride that I randomly gave to a random stranger, but you know, it ended up being cool. I gotta text him. I'm gonna text him and see if he's still around, see if he's still good. But you know, your boy, like I said, I've been consistent in the gym, so getting this body right, summertime is still here. The time is going hella fast. Like, time is going hella fast, and next thing you know, it's gonna be September. It's gonna be September on y'all, so I hope y'all are preparing for everything fall i know like some people are like getting ready they're you know getting their kids ready for back to school that's nuts like that school is even starting i have a friend who told me the school starts second week in august so crazy at school nowadays like some people stay in school till three some kids get out 11 some kids go five days a week some kids only gotta go three like yeah what, what is school today like what is school what is school and um yeah, that's about it, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. COVID has been ramping back up. Like, I heard a couple people get COVID again. Some that have boosters, some who ain't. So, you know, be make sure you out here just strategically moving. Not saying you got to stay in the house because look what that did to some of our mental health. But, um, you know, monkeypox is a thing. I have several friends going through that right now. And that's a little creepy and scary. So, you know, if you're going through that, then, you know, my, my thoughts are with you. My thoughts are with you inflation bro like these groceries in these grocery stores are i'm so tired of eating chicken legs because sometimes i don't want to pay 24 25 dollars for chicken other than legs you know legs is always the cheap as well and thighs but sometimes you want to eat thighs i know some of y'all ain't dark meat fans out there but 
I enjoy a good diet every now and then. Anyways, <laughs> that, I, I could make a joke, but I'm not. Anyways, you know, inflation is going crazy. Gun gun control is going crazy. I'm telling you, being from the north, especially um, a state where you did not see guns. Like when I was in Pennsylvania, you seen guns, but it was mostly for hunting. They didn't really carry it around. But my New York days, definitely not. I've seen a gun one time in person and up close, and it's because my friend was a cop. That's the only reason I've seen one up close. And But now I've been visit, you know, visiting the idea, playing with the idea if I should go to a gun range or not. Just so I could be familiar with, you know, a gun. Because I don't want to get up there and be trying to hold it sideways like they did on, like, Juice or South Central and try to shoot it like that. Because <laughs> I feel like I would, you know, I wouldn't be doing myself justice if I did that. So... Anywho, that's just what I've been going to. So y'all be careful out here. They trying to take away women's rights. They trying to, you know, stop interracial marriages, gay marriages. I, like the, this Supreme Court, wild, wild. I used to be the guy who loved the news, but now the news is so draining. And that's why I kind of want to create my own set of news and own set of content. And speaking of that, speaking of that, we are here. We are here. We are here at the moment where I'm looking for new voices for this network now. When I say that, let me be clear. <laughs> the next wave of hosts that I get, they need to have their social media intact. They need to be ready to work. They need to be ready to come up with ideas. They need to be ready to produce their own show. They need to be ready to hit timelines. They need to be ready to do all of that because, you know, over the past eight years that I've been doing this network and, you know, I've been in the podcasting world since 2012. So, you know, I see a lot of the changes that have been coming and I want to make those changes and I would love to be in a podcast where I'm in a studio with other people and things like that because it's something I've never done. I've always done solo podcasts. I've always produced solo podcasts. I mean, we had conversations with friends, but I mean, we didn't do video and well, we were doing it way before people had video for their podcast, but it's just time for a new era. It's time for a new era of things and I want to work with people who want to be the next personality like online personality like you can really benefit from this media shit like and i know that just because what i built from my clothing line with the little bit of success that i did have before i stopped like the connections that i made just because of my art like i can imagine what that would do in a time like now where you're able to really make money from your art i mean before i was making money but now you know nfts and all these art shows and art galleries and you know all of these things that I could have been placing my art in wasn't really an option back then so it's 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 dope to see ideas now so if you have an idea listen take that take that thing to the next level take that thing to the next level I'm working on um dropping some new pieces in the clothing world again like some new hats some you know I've gotten some motivation to kind of get back into that world and you know really get back into the sense of creating original dope stuff because even just like with this network like my ideas are original like all of these ideas for shows come up from just a place in my head where I just wrote it down I'm like that'd be cool to do it so I have some dope things that I want to get off on this network and I feel like I could do that with the right team of people who are ready to just build and work like listen it's all about creating and hustling and speaking of which, catch me on Create and Hustle each and every week, Thursday, ESPN Richmond, 106.1. But you can catch the, the playback episodes on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to that, on the CWF Network, or go to C CWF Network YouTube, and please, y'all, please subscribe. Check me out. I know sometimes it's audio only on the thing, but, you know, just listen to a couple minutes of it and like it, subscribe, and help your boy out. Help me grow this community that I'm really trying to ramp up and build, because Eight years is crazy that I don't have no team yet. Like, that's kind of crazy to me that I don't. And, you know, now I'm just ready to build and create bigger things. And, and, you know, I want to get a team so I can focus on trying to grow bigger than, you know, than micromanaging the everyday task of this network. So just getting a couple thoughts off my brain as I wrap this shit up, you know, as always, you know, be sure to follow the network CWFP underscore on instagram and twitter um cwfnetwork.com i'm making updates to that so we can you know have a more inclusive community and i'm um, also if you're just a creative out there who is just looking for a home to kind of you know do some dope shit especially if you're in atlanta if you're in atlanta let's work because i just have so many ideas of things that i want to do like content is every like content is everything you can make content out of everything and so 
you know, the type of creativity that I have is dope. I would just love like another creative partner to kind of bounce my ideas off and, you know, get the A-OK from some people without getting the, I don't know if that's a good idea. Because that's, that's, uh, those are people, just get away from me. Those type of people, get away from me. If you don't have nothing to suggest, don't tell me your thoughts on what you think about it. Like, that's what I'm about nowadays. Like, just suggest something that you think would be better instead of just saying you don't like it. I now understand when, like, teachers or parents would say that when you're a kid, but... Anywho, follow uh, the network on in, on socials. Follow me on socials, MustKing underscore underscore, because why not? I'm a show in a movie at the same time. And I'm trying to get me in my social media bag. Like, listen, like, my skin, my eczema really caused, um, you know, some... <sighs> It pulled me back from taking pictures a lot of times, but I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to get out of that and get back into the sense of just being a fly ass motherfucker I used to be. That pandemic wore me out. So I'm trying to, I'm crawling my way back into the light of who Mush King was prior to that shit. So we're getting there and we're very close. I'm almost out. I see, I see the big old opening at the top. I just need to, you know, find that next step up to to escalate out, up out the well. So <laughs> follow me on socials and remember folks, be sure to tell your story because you never know who's listening because guess what? Everybody got a story to tell. And on that day when I gave that random ride a stranger, I told him, I said, bro, listen, if you try to kill me, I will, I have goons who will come find you. And he was just like, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to kill you. I was like, well, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. See, that's me watching Dateline. You gotta, you gotta put it out there so the killer don't think that you just sweet. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> this is the CWF Network where we bring you big content in small pieces. Follow us on Instagram at CWFP underscore. Okay, bye.